If you run your kitchen with a waste not, want not philosophy, and if you're an avid practitioner of utilizing all your products to nearly 100%, then I think you're gonna like this recipe. This recipe features eggplant. Not just any eggplant, it's the eggplant that you find on the bottom of your case that's getting really soft. Maybe it doesn't have the eye appeal that you're looking for. And you might even be contemplating whether or not to throw it away. Don't do it. Because you can transform that eggplant from something that is soft and doesn't have great eye appeal into something new and delicious. We're gonna transform our eggplant into a delicious Italian style condiment known as caponata. Caponata is basically roasted eggplant with tomatoes, capers, maybe some citrus, some balsamic vinegar, wine, and in this case, a few other ingredients that we need to use up. First thing you wanna do is take your aging eggplant, put them on a sheet tray, bathe them with oil, and roast them off at about 400 degrees for about 45 minutes or until nice and tender. And once the eggplant is cool, you're simply gonna take the skin off and give the inside a rough chop. And then you're well on your way to a delicious caponata. I like to use my Dutch oven for things that I'm gonna be simmering, being tomato sauces and stuff like that. Put a healthy amount of olive oil. Say there's about a cup there. Wait for it to get nice, toasty, warm. And add a healthy amount of sliced garlic. And that's about six cloves. I had some red onions in my refrigerator that were starting to get a little on the soft side as well. You know what I'm gonna do with it? Because I'm a waste not, want not kind of guy, I'm gonna add these to it. See, that's about a cup and a half. I also had some celery in my refrigerator that wasn't looking as vibrant as it normally should. You know what I'm gonna do with this? I'm gonna add it. That's about a cup of celery. Still packed full of flavor, and it's gonna be delicious for this recipe. We're getting a little bit of caramelization in the pan. So we're gonna continue building some flavors here. I'm gonna add our delicious roasted eggplant. We've got some tomatoes here. And these tomatoes were on the soft side. Nothing that I would use for a sandwich, nothing that I would use for a salad, but certainly is something that'll be perfect for a caponata. Basically my tomatoes and eggplant are equal parts. If I had to guesstimate, I would say that there's three, three cups of eggplant and uh, three cups of tomatoes here. I'm gonna add a healthy amount of white wine, a couple cups of tomato juice, about a cup of balsamic vinegar, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of honey, salt, and some capers. This is our caponata after it's been simmering slash reducing for about 45 minutes. We're still not done because we have a few ingredients that I like to add at the last 15, 20 minute stage. Lots of oregano. And here I've got a couple lemon ends. And I'm just gonna drop that in the caponata. And when it's done, we're gonna take the lemon ends out and we're gonna discard them. But for the meantime, we've got the residual heat in the, the finishing stage of the simmering, which is gonna extract the oil from the lemon and add that nice lemon tang that we're looking for in this dish. All right, let's continue on our journey. And just like that, we transformed some not so desirable product into something delicious and desirable that you can use in a multitude of different ways. You can serve caponata as an appetizer with some crusty bread, maybe top it with some cheese curds. You can use your caponata as a vegetarian style bolognese for a pasta dish. And one of my favorite ways to utilize caponata when I'm making pizza at home is to grill my pizza dough, top it with caponata and some fresh mozzarella, sprinkle it with some basil and olive oil, and boom, you have a delicious caponata pizza. And if you want to prolong the life of this even further, you can cool it down, put it in bags, and take it over to Hello there. the cryovac machine. Take the air out, pop it in your freezer, and take it out when you need it. And to see more Waste Not Want Not ideas, or to see more videos, go to DennisExpress.com slash chef.